Think of the technological advancements that have taken place over the last 50 years. We've gone from massive computers with limited capabilities to pocket-sized smartphones with a world of information. We've moved from wired to wireless. We now have smart TVs that can stream thousands of options and cars that can basically drive themselves. These kinds of advancements in technology have greatly benefited medicine and healthcare. Today, we can understand human life like never before. Specifically, prenatal medicine in the last 50 years has transformed from using a fetoscope and blurry, ambiguous sonogram imaging to technology that allows for in utero surgery and accurate 4D renderings of fully formed preborn children. These developments have given us an incredible window into a mother's womb and the very first stages of every human life. Here's what we know. From the moment of fertilization, our DNA blueprint is created. Things like sex, eye color, hair color, and other traits are instantly determined. That means from this moment, a truly unique and separate life begins. After about three weeks, our heartbeat starts. A week later, our arms and legs begin to form. Around week six, brain activity can be recorded. In the weeks that follow, our faces take shape, the beginnings of teeth form under the gums, and all our internal organs are in place and start to work together. By 15 weeks, we are about the size of a pear or an apple. Our ears and eyes are positioned properly. We have eyelids, eyebrows, eyelashes, nails, hair, and little fingers and toes. We can move freely, touch our face, sigh, and grasp objects. By now, we've already begun to suck our thumbs, hiccup, and stretch out in our mother's womb. Modern medical technology has truly revealed our humanity from the very beginning of our existence. We're vulnerable, but there's no question of what we are, human and living. It's undeniable. Medical professionals like me are among the first to encounter life at these early stages. Laws and policy that treat this precious life with the dignity it deserves ensure that I can honor my oath as a physician to do no harm. Every life is a miracle. Every life is unique. And every life at every stage deserves protection.